Where? You're on BBC. It is wet, wet, wet outside here. What a nightmare of a lunchtime. It looks horrible. BBC Radio Sheffield, however, full of sunshine. Here's a story that's sunny. A specialist sports college based at the Keep Moak Stadium in Doncaster has gone up a league and is looking to make some new signings. The club Doncaster Sports College teaches 120 students aged between 16 and 18. Ben Thompson's head of year 12. Josh Gelder is one of the students uh, and they join me now. Ben, tell us about the college. Uh, what do you teach? Good afternoon. Um, well, we teach mainly sports qualifications. Um, we try to teach everything from um, the level one traineeship, which is like a work experience in sport qualification. Um, and that one doesn't really require any um, qualifications from school. So if you've had a bit of a tough time at school, it's something that you can get onto the ladder with. We teach the um, active IQ level two, that's a gym instructor's qualification. Um, as a qualification that actually gives you this, the skills and the tools to go into the gym instruction industry uh, after that and uh, we also do the BTEC level three which is a direct pathway to university. So uh, do you just take anybody who says I'm interested in sport or, or what? Yeah so um, predominantly we teach uh, 16 to 18 year olds so uh, what we tend to find is people who are leaving school this year um, you know year, year 11 learners um, are looking for the next step and it is a really big step for him um, you know is it college sixth form and um, we, we're now emerging as one of the main um, one of the main people in Doncaster to, to offer um, the next step in uh, further education. You've been doing it since, what, 2007 as a college, and you keep growing, you're getting bigger, you're going up a league in that sense. Yeah, well, yeah, we started in 2007 with uh, 14 learners, and when I came into the organisation um, in 2010, we only had around 23 learners, so to have 120 learners now means that we're one of the fastest growing sports colleges in the region. Are they males, females, both? A bit of, bit of each? What are they? Yeah, we, we have a good mixture. Um, we, we are getting more and more girls. Obviously, with the link to the stadium and uh, the football team and the, the rugby team, um, we have predominantly had uh, male learners, but we are this year seeing um, a lot of girls um, looking to take an interest in the course, which is brilliant because it is for lads and lasses. Mm. You're looking for new students? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, so as a further education uh, college we're basically um from from september we're looking for the next september to bring our learners in so um this um this thursday at half past four we've got an open evening uh, at the stadium uh, anyone year 10 year 11 are welcome to attend that um in, in the doncaster area uh, and and the borough um, and really that's giving the parents and the students an, um, an opportunity to come and speak to the tutors come and have a look at the facilities um, and get a feel for the place and what happens at playtime do they all run out and play games and <laughs> put on uh, what well, uh, at, um, yeah, so at, well, at break times, we've... Um, on the real pitch, I was thinking, you know, do they go out there and play on the real ground? Oh, I don't know if Jim the ground's going to be too, too pleased <laughs> with many that. <laughs> hey, Ben, thank you. I'll, I'll have a word with, you, with Josh Gelder, who's one of the students. What's your story, Josh? How old are you? Yeah, well, I'm 17. I started uh, at the college last year, and um, I think it were a good opportunity. It gave me, like... It, we, we went to different places. Like, I went to France uh, as a, with the college, and uh, I did an NCS with the college as well, and it gives you a good opportunity. Did you, I mean, presumably you would have thought, should I go to, uh, well, what Ben was saying, for FE college or should I go to this or that? Why did you decide that you would go to a specialist sports college? Well, um, I thought, uh, well, in the future I want to be focusing on doing something to do with sport. And uh, I, I went to the open evening and I thought it, were, it looked great. It looked for what I wanted to do, so I decided to go to that college. Something to do with sport. What sort of things are you thinking of there, Josh? Coaching, could be coaching, uh, sports media maybe, uh, stuff like that. How did you find out about the college in the first place? Uh, I got re it got recommended by somebody that went there, one of my friends that went there. What had happened to him? Uh, he, um, he went to, I think he's going to a university in America, which is, well... As a result of having gone to Club yeah. Doncaster first. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. What's it like? I mean, is, is the atmosphere, is it like being in a school? No, it's, no. It's different to a school with the lessons as well. Like, in a school you learn from a textbook, whereas in, at this college it's like you get more involved in the lessons and it's more enjoyable. Do you call the teacher sir? Uh, no. no. Or madam or whatever. So, no, we, uh, it's more like, we're not, we're not friends, but they, they know... The teachers know the students like individually, they don't know them as their class, if you know what I mean. Do you have to wear your PE kit all day long? Or, or? Uh, no, it's. You, we just come in 
casual clothes. Yeah. Do the teachers wear PE kit all day? Do they go running around in their <laughs> little pants and things? <laughs> uh, no, not. No, no, not, not often. often. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we want on dressing down there, they're allowed to do that. Uh, ben, ben is, is Josh your prize pupil? Is that why he's on Radio Sheffield encouraging other people to have a go at it today? Uh, no, no, I've done this as a punishment, really, oh, yeah. to Josh, yeah. Uh, no, Josh is one of our BTEC Level 3 learners. Um, we're hopeful that Josh will go into uh, a pro professionalism, maybe a university, um, and um, many of Josh's peers are already looking at university, and we've got the uh, the UCAS uh, situation where the guys are already uh, applying for their next step in higher education. And, and it, it, I mean, I think there was a bit of scepticism, not necessarily about sports college at Doncaster, but generally about this way of sort of giving FE, giving education to older kids. When it first started, it was it, it felt it might be a bit second best, a bit sort of for the kids who can't crack it in real establishments. That, that doesn't sound like it's the case, Ben. Well, no, I, I think uh, when we started, um, we generally did E2E, which was, um, which was really a course for people who maybe didn't get on so well at school. Now what we tended to find uh, through our organisation is we've got straight A learners, um, we've got learners who are looking to go into, into teaching, um, as Josh said, into sports journalism possibly, um, even physiotherapists, things like that. So, so really... Um, we're probably rubbing shoulders with the colleges and the sixth forms and that, but because of our grades, you know, 100% achievement uh, for the last few years um, and, and the high grades that we do get, people are looking at us as a viable option um, as a pathway to university now. Thanks ever so much. Give us the details you wanted to get in on this one about your uh, coming evening. Yeah, so the open evening's tomorrow night, the 19th of November. Um, it starts at 4.30 um, and it runs through till 6 o'clock. It's a drop-in session at, at the Keep Moat Stadium on the East Stand. So um, really we're aiming at people who are looking to uh, maybe move into the uh, in, into further education next year so po possibly year 11 students um, and preferably people who are obviously interested in, in sport because that's really what our um, our main strength is ben thompson thank you very much indeed and josh gell the best of luck josh thank you